Welcome everybody, Todd Mariana, Deep Grooves Mastering, and uh, today it is the quest for the Damper Stamper. So this is from one of my prior Twitch streams, so that's twitch.tv slash opcode66, I've been streaming live the rebuilding process for Presto 1D and 5C cutter head. And what I'm showing you right now is my very first attempt at making a stamp for the dampers. And you can see it didn't come out real great. It had some pretty rough edges. And this is basically the final version. So I'm gonna sort of walk through how I got there. So what I am cutting into is actually the original print bed for my MakerBot 3D printer. I replaced it with a glass bed and I just happened to have it sitting around and instead of wasting metal, either you know, cutting metal and having wear on end mills and using lubricants and etc. I thought, well, it'd be a lot easier to sort of mock this up in plastic and understand, learn the ins and outs of the process, which is basically how I approach all of my R&D. I don't try to take on an entire mountain at once. I will look at the mountain. I will assess the pieces of it. I will see what is doable right now and what I have to do something else to create in order to do blah 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 so you know I try to approach everything in bite-sized steps is the point that I'm making and I'd also try to not set myself up for failure and I also try not to waste resources so that all being said instead of doing this all in metal um, which is what the final version will be uh, I decided to just use a very rigid hard plastic and lo and behold I had that print bed sitting around so perfect you know just use that material so I think that this is the actual first one that I made and the walls were a bit too thin so when I went to go and um, actually load it up in the press which is what you see happening right here and this is a one ton press from Harbor Freight, it cost, I think, maybe $79 or something like that. $69. <laughs> 69 dude! So, though this fails because those walls are too thin in plastic, that might not be too thin for aluminum, which is probably what I'm going to actually machine these from. Uh, FYI, the eye, those walls are half a millimeter thick. This is actually the third punch that I created that evening. So I tried, I think, ah, maybe I started 0.45 millimeters and then I went up to um, 0.6 and then 0.75. One is just too thick. But again, when I actually go and make this in metal, I think that probably closer to half millimeter will be just fine and it won't crush under the force of the press. So there you go. That worked out great. Now let's move on. That should be a familiar shape to some of you. Uh, this would be the Presto 1D damper. Similar to the 1C. 1C is just not as tall. Doesn't have that other hole. Definitely this will need to be in metal. There's you know, no way that you could functionally stamp out a bunch of stampers with that detail in plastic. The other for the 5C could be plastic though. Yeah, it, it did work. As you can see, I did get a, a usable, nice punch from it. However, it did destroy itself, so the forms that punch the small holes towards the right right now uh, in frame and one of the walls 
did end up crushing, but otherwise it worked fine. And in metal, it'll be perfect. So much more soon. I have a playlist now with all of these rebuild videos, so check that out. Please do subscribe. Be well, take care of yourselves, be kind to others, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Namaskar.